All right, so I've made it to the new spot here. I'm gonna try some jigs on this little flooded water here. It's, the water's uh, pretty high at the moment and it's flowing pretty quick, so I'll have to change the lure pretty soon. So this jig has caught me a lot of fish, but I wanna try something different. I wanna try my new um, custom rattle jig for this more like dirtier water out here, as you can see. So I'm gonna try this jig out. It's more of a green pumpkin watermelon flake one, and it's got a rattle, which is um, pretty excited for. So the other one doesn't have one. This is just what I've added to it, just a little, little rattle behind the head of it. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so I'm pretty excited to test out this new jig that I've made got the rattle on it so let's check it out oh first cast Jesus what no way you've got to be kidding me right <laughs> No way. Come here, you. There we go. First bass of the trip. Caught him on the new um, customized jig there with the little rattle. I'm pretty stoked about this one. First, uh, second spot, and I land a nice little size floodwater bass. So, yeah, he's not too bad. I'd probably say he's um, 25 centimeters. I'll give him a quick measure anyway. And I'll chuck them back in the water. So not bad for a first cast. Pretty stoked I landed a fish on the, the new jig. I'm pretty keen to see what else these waters hold, so let's get back into it. Just a little one. Oh, I think I got him. There we go. Yep. Oh yeah, not a, not a bad one. There we go. Another solid Australian bass. Just caught him in that uh, deeper section just behind me. He had a couple of hits on it. I thought it was a small guy, but he ended up coming out pretty good just yeah awesome fish these guys I love Australian bass you know hunting for them you know going through the creeks and you're just like guessing where they might be and if you hit some structure or some hit some deep spots you're more than likely to get a bite so cop that guy he's awesome from today first one 27 and then this one like a 31 or something so not bad on the, the DIY jig so let's get out there and get some more so yeah good start to the day I knew this uh, spot would always have a fish in it so I was pretty confident so yeah not too bad two fish just the retrieve on this um, jig here is I'm just casting it out as far as I can and then I just let it sit there for about five seconds to let it sink and because the the plastic is made out of a elastitech I think it's called uh, the actual claws will um, float up and flare up uh, to mimic like a defensive crayfish so yeah you want to give it a, a t give it a quick uh, yank and then pause and then yank so you're just basically letting it sink and then jigging it up again ok 
Okay, so we're coming into a little spot where I've always caught some fish. So hopefully this spot here looks pretty good. Very, very deep. Very, very wide too. So hopefully my chances are pretty big here. Yeah, so it's probably been about an hour since I got my last fish. So I'm really keen to get another one. So hopefully this casts the one. Yep, there we go. Oh. Almost had it. It's a little guy. Oh, oh. Almost had him. Yep, there we go. On. Solid guy. Yeah, nice. Ah, not a bad fish. So I just cast over near those snags there, let it sink for five, 10 seconds, and I got this guy. On the jig again. These guys are, are pretty healthy in this system. They're pretty fat, and there seems to be a good supply of the big ones, so. Yeah, I love catching um, Skinny Creek bass, it's so fun. So you just predict where the fish might be hanging, and you just, chuck your lure in so managed to get this guy pretty sick all right let's give him the release Yep, got a fish. There we go. Got another bass. Just in that uh, deep spot just behind me. I casted it in and had a couple of jigs at it. And then just before it came to the bank, I just saw him just, you know, leap out. And he got it. Pretty nice bass. Yeah, this dude has real red eyes. Look at that. Psycho. Yo! Alright, let's give him the release. So there we go, another nice bass. Just caught him behind those rocks. I just casted it at the bank, let it like hit the actual rock, so it gave like a, a vibration in the water. And I managed to hook this guy up, pretty cool. So it's only early bass season at the moment and the water's still warming up. Uh, but there's still some decent amount of fish in here and they're getting pretty big. So in a couple of weeks time, this spot will be raging. So I can't wait. Now that was a ripper of a trip. So stoked I got, I think it was six or seven fish on my new jig. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and yeah, it helps out, helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep fishing. <laughs>